This is Code Combat. I'm working on Computer Science 2, the Python version. I'm on level 25, Village Champion. Goals. Stop all the ogres. Save all the peasants. Okay. Define a function, which means make. Make a function in your code. The ogres have broken through and opened another path into the village. Oh no, where? Okay. Uh, you need to write your own function to handle this new attack. Look, look closely at how to define a function. You're on your own this time. So remember, we have to write def space and find, you can name the function whatever, but I think we're going to name it that. Find an attack enemy, colon, and then indenting lets the computer know this is the code in the function. So this one, we created a variable enemy. We tell the hero to look around and find the closest enemy. And their new name would then be enemy. Or if our hero looks around and finds nothing, enemy would equal nothing. Which is why we're going to check if enemy. So we're asking the computer, now, does the enemy exist or not? So if enemy, if that's true, the computer drops down and says hero, attack, enemy. All right, let's try it. Okay, so let's look at our comments here. Remember, hashtags, those are the comments in Python. Those are for humans, for programmers. Programmers use them constantly. The computer skips them when running code. Else attack the ogre. So I need an else statement here. Enter. And so if hero, if ogre, and oh, find nearest enemy, name that enemy ogre. If the hero finds nothing, ogres would equal nothing. So if ogre exists, the computer says true. Yep, there's an ogre. First we check, well, is cleave ready? If it is, the computer will run this. Otherwise, we drop to our else and whatever's in the else will be run which we're just going to attack. If we can't cleave, we'll just attack. Okay, then, and this is our definition. This is our cleave or attack function. See the colon? Everything under this, everything over indented uh, up until this break is part of this function. So when I write cleave or attack with uh, the parentheses after it, I run all of this code by writing that. Okay, wall true, hero move, Use cleave or attack function you defined above. Yep, cleave or attack. Now make sure you write it how they did. Cle ah, cleave or attack. Notice that my O and my A are being capitalized. Programmers do that because it's really hard. You can't have spaces and variables or function names, and it's kind of hard to read it. So we leave the first letter lowercase, but then the start of each word after that is uppercase to make it easier to read. So cleaver attack, call the function again. Yep. And this is what's so great about functions is that you can easily run a whole bunch of code. Cleave or attack without having to write it again and again and again. All right. So I just ran. Right here, I move to 35, 34, cleave or attack. So what the computer does is it goes up here, looks at my function up here. I'm going to get rid of this just so I can have more of this on the screen. So what the... Just to get it all on the screen at the same time. I'm just deleting comments. You don't have to do this. I want to be able to see all the code that's doing stuff. All right. So... What the computer does is each time we say cleave or attack, it goes, okay, well, this is a function. Let me see. And it runs. We look for an ogre. If the ogre exists, we cleave. Uh, if the ogre exists, it checks if cleave is ready. True, it will cleave. Otherwise, we want to attack. Okay. Then we have our hero move to 4727, wherever that is, maybe over here. Then they, we cleave or attack. So then the code goes, zoop, okay. We're going to run all of this. We're going to look for the closest enemy. We're going to check if the enemy is real. We're going to cleave if we can, else we're going to attack. Then we move over here and we run this function again. So the computer goes zoop and runs through it all again. That way we do not have to write all of this stuff out each of these three times we want to use it. Let's hit run. Uh, let's hit submit and see. This looks bad. Oh, yep. So we don't have an enemy in this one. We got to change this. Our variable up here is ogre. 
Okay, so we usually use enemy, but variables can be anything. We used ogre this time, so ogre, ogre. Let's try again. Oh, uh, excellent. So here's that code that worked for me. And again, you can have comments. I just got rid of them so I could see more of it at once. Great, let's keep uh, going.